Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady. Well, here we are, back on the porch. It is a gorgeous day here. It's like 73 degrees, sun shining, beautiful day, wind's blowing. My wind chimes are probably be making a lot of noise, but we're on the porch, so what else, right? I just thought this would be good, a nice time to sit and chat with you. I'm having a big cup of water out here. How cute is this cup with all these different wigs on it? Right up my alley, I love it. I am wearing my Raquel Welch Untold Story and Fiery Copper. Now, if you've followed me for any time, you know that Raquel Welch Upstage has been my favorite wig for two years running. And, but I have to tell you, Untold Story is giving it a run for its money. I hadn't decided which one I like yet. I'm gonna wear this all year. And then at the end of the year, when I do my favorites, I'll let you know which one I chose. But this is going to be a hard choice. I love them both. This wig is the most gorgeous wig. Of course, it's like a, it's very similar to Upstage. I've done a comparison review on my channel if you haven't seen it. Uh, they're very similar. But there are some differences. They're both are hand tied caps, large, beautiful mono tops, and lace fronts. Just, just gorgeous, gorgeous wigs. And I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet, but stay tuned for that. I'm going to talk about one more wig today. You know, guys, I kind of want to keep this little chat with us a little bit about wigs, but not focusing on wigs so much because I have my YouTube channel for that. If you want to see different wigs, you know I have all of that over there. And I also have a little new series that is called Wig of the Week, where I choose a wig that I seem to reach for a lot. I want to tell you a little bit about it. It's not a wig review. I've already done that on all the wigs that I'm going to show you, but it's a quick overview of that wig. So if you've been curious about a wig and you don't have time to sit and watch a full wig review, you can look at that little wig of the week and you can get an overview of some different wigs that I reach for a lot and I hope you enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, one more wig I want to talk about and I think I've shown you this one before. Uh, just thinking about wigs that I really, really enjoy. I was telling you about Until Story, but this is Ellen Villa Adore. Now, Adore is a combination of human hair and synthetic. And I've had this wig in several different colors. Um, it is just a beautiful, beautiful style. I want you to see it again. Now, it has the whiffs on this one that are covered. It has a lace front and a mono part there. Very little permatease here. You can see there is just the smallest amount. I've reviewed this several times before. Uh, this color is champagne rooted. But I just want you to know if you are looking for a low density style for the summer, beautiful shape on this wig, very, very wearable. I just cannot tell you what a beautiful style this is, how wearable it is, how much I have worn this over and over and over again, and it still looks like brand new. The cap is still in perfect condition. I can't say enough about this wig. If you haven't had a chance to look at a door, just have a look at it. If you um, keep an eye out for it on the Wig Studio One clearance section, if you ever see one, just grab it. I promise you, you won't be sorry you did. It is a lovely, lovely style. I had this on earlier today, as a matter of fact. Uh, I did some wig reviews today, and I wore this for the beginning of a uh, review I did on a brand new Ellen Villa style that is going to release in a couple days. So um, I wore this one, and every time I put it on, I think, oh, I love that wig so much. <laughs> Another little thing quickly I wanted to talk to you about. Y'all know I do Weight Watchers, and um, I really like it. I enjoy it. It's a good way to maintain, uh, but I have, my daughter told me about these gluten-free pretzel twist. I got them at Whole Foods, and for points, if you do Weight Watchers, it is 14 pretzels. These are small, 14 pretzels for three points, and I think this is a great little snack. If you haven't tried those, you might give them a try. Really good, weight and washers friendly. So that's nice. And then I got a bunch of makeup, so let's get busy. Okay, now, 
Have you tried? Now, I'm big on sunscreen. I love sunscreen. I think we should all use sunscreen. Um, this one, the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoo. I got the travel size. It is great. This is like a primer. It is so silky. It is so smooth. I use this instead of a primer. I will put this on in the morning, put my makeup on over it. I haven't had any trouble with any makeup with this. So this is lovely. It is a 40 sunscreen. Now, they also have it in what they call the glow screen. This is great too. Kind of, it's it, does, it is glowy. Now, I will tell you, if you don't like glow, not your product. I happen to, uh, and I have enjoyed it. So sometimes I use the Unseen, and sometimes, sometimes I use the glow. Either one is great. Okay, another thing I got. I had gotten this when Sephora had their VIB Rouge sale, and it just came in. The Patrick Tom Major Dimension 2 palette. Wow, is this gorgeous. I have heard so many influencers already talking about it. It has, I'm gonna try not to blind you here. I just want you to look at these colors. How gorgeous are these colors? It has these two creams that are covered and I appreciate that in these. It has this cover over the two cream shadows. I think that is really nice. But these are so soft. They go on so beautifully. Not much fallout, which I also like but these colors are just gorgeous. I can see why everyone is talking about this palette. I'm, I'm really glad I splurged. It's not inexpensive, it's not, but um, you know, sometimes we can splurge a little bit and I did on this one and I am so glad I did because I think it is very, well worth the money on that. Now, another thing I have fallen in love with, and I think we talked about it last time, but I picked up a couple more because <laughs> I love them so much, are these Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs, they're called. And the sun's coming in and out behind the clouds, so sorry about that if the light's changing. But we're outside, what can I do? So anyway, these gloss bombs are so beautiful. I have Fenty Glow, Glass Slipper, and Fussy. Well, this tops off any lipstick in a beautiful way. Adds a little glow to it. They're not sticky, but they're so glossy. I like a gloss, I just do. If you're a matte girl, this is not your product, but if you like um, a gloss, I would encourage you to try this. Uh, the glass slipper is so pretty. It's just clear. So it will work with any lip that you put on and just top it off with that. Well, just a beautiful product. I tried one and then I couldn't wait to get another color. So I picked up two more colors when I was in Dallas. <laughs> Uh, more lipstick. I don't know if we talked about this yet or not. If we did, let's talk about it again. Charlotte Tilbury, I love her lipstick. And this one is called In Love with Olivia. Now, as you know, I am a sucker for packaging. I love beautiful packaging on lipstick. This one comes out like that. And look at that lipstick. Oh my goodness. And this color is so wearable. Pull it up there so you can see it better. Just a beautiful shade. Like I said, very wearable. I have just enjoyed this one so, so much. Uh, I'm gonna get some more of these. I really think they're just pretty. They're the Hot Lips is what it's called. And I don't think you can go wrong with this. And I just like to keep it in this packaging because like I said, I just love beautiful packaging. In Love with Olivia, that's the name of this one. So pretty, so, so pretty. I picked up another of my favorite mascara. Now, you know I talk about it all the time, the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It is so nice. Several of my friends were saying they had tried it and they liked it too. I just think it is a beautiful mascara. Um, 
you know, I love different mascaras and you know, I try them all. I like drugstore, I like high-end, I like them all. But this one, I keep repurchasing. I just keep repurchasing it because it has a nice wand. I have hooded eyes, so big mascara wands don't work for me. That gets all over my eyes. This one just has a nice wand that is not too big and the formula is nice. That's a winner, Hourglass, way to go. Really, really like that. And I have rediscovered a palette. Do you ever have a palette that you put up and then later on you think, let me try that again. And I have fallen in love with it again. And it's an oldie but a goodie. It is uh, Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. And it is well loved as you will see. <laughs> but I have been using it again and I have just come to really enjoy it again. I like that. I like it when I find a palette that I've used some of these to almost hit pan. And then I put it up, I had kind of used it a lot and I put it up and now I am back using it again. And I'm so glad. I love rediscovering things like that. Uh, okay, now. You know, for my filming, I always talk about that I always wear uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I ha always have for years. I have just about replaced that now with this Huda Beauty. I have think this is such a beautiful, the Faux Filter Luminous Matte in Shortbread is the color I wear. This is full, full coverage. If you are needing a full coverage foundation, you might check this out. I will give you a hint. When I first got it, and I first used it, I didn't like it. The first time I put it on, I thought, oh no, this is too thick, too much. Well, the key here, too much. I was trying to use way too much of this product. A half a pump does my whole face. I can't believe it. So once I backed off of that, tried it again with a really good primer, I used the Dior primer, and I tried this again with that and the smallest amount. It is a beautiful full coverage finish, but again, full coverage for me. Um, that's giving my double wear a run for its money. It really is. Um, I don't know if you've tried this, but I really like this Tasha, the Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I picked this up on the sale as well. This lasts me such a long time. Their packaging is beautiful as well. I find this to be a really nice cleanser. It doesn't strip your skin. I have super dry skin, so I have to be careful. But I have found this is for normal to dry skin. Um, I found that this really cleans all my makeup off, but yet doesn't make my face feel dry. And that's the key for me. So um, it makes a really nice foam. And it doesn't leave any kind of after, you know, it just, it's very clean feeling after you use it. But I enjoy this. I like the Tasha brand. I've had several things from them and I, it's a little pricey. So when I can get it on sale, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Now, the last thing I have and something that has been really popular, I uh, see it a lot. And I know a lot of my friends have used it. My daughter is using this and she really likes it is the Ilia, let me see. This is called the Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum. It has 40 sunscreen in this. This is a, a makeup, but it is like a serum. It's very lightweight. This is a beautiful everyday. Uh, if you get this, keep in mind, you have to really shake it up. It has that sunscreen in it. It does not have any kind of white tint or anything like that. This is a beautiful everyday foundation. If you are, um, it's light coverage. I don't, uh, you could build it up a tad, but not much. This is a beautiful, I love this. I wear this to work a lot, a lot. It has a dropper, comes like that. Let me see what shade I am in. Paloma ST9. This is so nice. Again, it tells you to be sure to shake it very well before. Like I said, it has that 40% uh, sunscreen SPF 40. Nice. Highly, highly recommend this. 
uh, like I said, my daughter started using it. She was telling me about it. She's in beauty. She has uh, a job in beauty and she had recommended this to me and a friend of mine also uh, was telling me she was loving using it and I'm so glad I tried it. I color matched at Sephora and they got a perfect color for me and this is now turning into my everyday to work foundation. Really like it. Okay guys, that's what I got today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just so fun. I love this time with you, just chatting, talking about makeup, talking about wigs, talking about food, talking about whatever. <laughs> it's just so fun. I'm glad we're back to Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady. Okay, that's what I got for today. I will see you next month. Have a great, great day, and I'll talk to you soon.